There is a food processing plant in Blackfoot that you may never have heard of. It makes a product you will not see on our store shelves. The people that work there are proud of the cheese they make and the awards it has won. Bill Cummings takes us inside. Okay, so Cynthia Heathington is proud to show us the start of the cheese making process. It all begins with milk, 120,000 gallons a day from dairies in a 150 mile radius of Blackfoot. Culture is added, it becomes cheese and then it's cut up into curds. Now at this plant, that cheese is formed into 40 pound blocks where it's shipped to other cheese makers to add nutritional value. Those products you do see on store shelves, but just without this plant's owner's name on the label, Glanbia Nutritionals. When they had the auction, our smoked hickory cheddar went for $5,750, which comes out to about $150 a pound. Some expensive cheese. That's some expensive <laughs> cheese. <laughs> yeah. David Bunnell is talking about recent awards and the auction for scholarships that earned the highest bid. They took home some top honors, including two, two awards place, two for second, first place and cheese third. entries. It's pretty exciting to see the ribbons that we get and the awards and to know that it was produced here and, you know, especially in Little Blackfoot, you know, in the sense of that we're producing some pretty awesome cheese just right here, a little plant here in Blackfoot. 60 people work at Glanbia on Ash Street, just off the main drag in Blackfoot. They run four shifts 24-7. The plan is celebrating 100 years of operation. We have people that have been here for 30 years, and their parents, some of them both, have worked here previous to that. So there's a lot of history here. And it's uh, crazy that when I go throughout the community that people a lot of people are not aware that we are here. Alicia Steffens is a Blackfoot High graduate. She got her degree from ISU in biochemistry. I do the grading of the product. I make sure that it's in specs and that it's safe for the customer. Um, it does not leave the door unless I say so. Pride in the product, but also a recent milestone in safety. Um, in any food processing plant, um, there's machinery, there's wet floors, there's things that um, people can get injured if they're not paying attention. We've done an extremely good job over the last year plus um, with people not getting injured. We're celebrating 392 days that we've gone without a recordable incident, which is tremendous. Um, we're rewarding and recognizing everybody within the plant two weeks from now with a steak dinner. Making cheese you may never see with pride in Blackfoot. Bill Cummings reporting.